Ethereum just got revamped. According to its co-founder, Vitalik Buterin, the blockchain network has now completed the crypto's most ambitious change to date. Well, we're now joined by James Butterfield, head of research at CoinShares. James, great to speak to Hi you there. because I think last time you were in a banking job, yes, right? And, and then now you're, you're kind of like crypto. How excited are you about this change and the fact that they're becoming greener? This is massive. I mean, Ethereum has been trying to shift to a proof-of-stake protocol for many years. Um, What's very important for cryptocurrencies is that they have a large network yeah. and a proof of work where they mine is a good way, it provides an economic incentive to build a network. Mm -hmm. Now it's done that and it's shifting to this proof of stake where it stops mining, um, it, it op will offer now a 5% yield So and so far with the merge which happened at 7.40 this morning, everything looks to be progressing well. Yeah, I, I love the fact that we call it the merge, it's suddenly like the, you know, <laughs> you've taken over, they've taken over uh, this term that we used to use all the time. So wh what are the proof of systems for? Is there an understanding like how much percentage wide of the population actually understand what this means? And, and if you think it's a small percentage, can you explain it to everyone? Yeah, the proof of systems is, is a large decentralized network and you need people to validate it and then have yep. an incentive to validate it. Uh, it's, it's easy and simple in uh, a proof of work where you mine. Yeah. In a proof of stake concept, it's a lot harder. Right. So the idea is you issue a yield, you print more Ethereum yeah. essentially to, to issue a yield. Uh, but what's very interesting about this, it's been very technically complex, yeah. is on the, the flip side they are burning an element of yield. So it, is, it will right. be the first cryptocurrency where you see a net issuance of either neutral or slightly negative. Right. So it's a deflationary crypto, cryptocurrency. Right. But so, I mean there are pros and cons, so what, what is, is the number one drawback to this? The main problem, I think, is political uh, or regulatory interference. With Bitcoin, you don't. There is no leader to subpoena. But uh, here we have, with Ethereum, we have the Ethereum Foundation, and they can be subpoenaed, and that could influence it. But it's, it's unlikely. It looks like now, where they're much more environmentally friendly. They will reduce energy cost, world energy cost by 0.2 percent. So it looks like it'll be, it'll be, there'll be a much more politically yeah. friendly opinion towards. D does it make it more vulnerable, or what are some of the vulnerabilities? Though? Yeah, some of the vulnerabilities are that there could be some sort of political attack. It's less right. decentralized, so theoretically you could see a, a much larger stakeholder, a 51 percent attack, so to speak. Yeah. At the moment, though, we're seeing there's 420,000 validators in uh, on Ethereum proof of stake so it seems highly unlikely that that will yeah. occur.